Hello friends, I hope everyone is fine. In this video, we will shortly talk about how to manage a patient of the COVID-19 at home. The first and foremost most thing which is very important is to know that you are not to go into the stress. Whenever people come across COVID-19, the first thing they do, they go into the stress and the science, science has proven that if someone is uh, stressful, uh, someone has got into the anxiety attack and patient is suffering from some disease, then the immune system goes down uh, as more and more stress builds up. So first thing is not to go into the stress. Second thing which is very important is to isolate oneself from the rest of the family. This is very important because if you come across other members of the family, they can ultimately also catch the infection. So the thirdly, you, you need to symptomatically manage yourself if you cannot talk to a doctor. And obviously nowadays the hospitals are beyond their capacity. So you are to restrict yourself to your homes. So whenever you are isolating yourself and say you are running fever or you are having body aches or headaches because these are the uh, mo most of the patients have got these uh, symptoms so try to take the uh, paracetamol in the required dosage for example if you are an adult you can take two tablets three times a day but if you are trying to manage a ch uh, child at home then you can give the syrup paracetamol in the form of the Panadol syrup or Calpol syrup depending upon the age of the patient. Because if a, if the child is more than 6 years of age, you will give the Calpol 6 plus or higher strength of the Panadol syrup. But if the kid is less than uh, 6 years, then you can use the simple Calpol. Uh, because along, the, uh, along with these symptoms, some pe people do develop a dry cough then you need to take some antitussive. You can take, uh, for example, acephyl cough. You can take syrup pulmonol. You can take syrup rondic. And there are uh, there are so many other antitussive or cough syrup which you can take. Uh, other than this, some people do develop a uh, loss of sense of smell or taste. This is not any uh, serious symptom. You can just uh, keep on doing your rest of the day, day jobs and uh, uh, other works. So do not be scared of uh, the fact that you have just lost the sense of smell uh, and what else you need to take you can take uh, some like broth uh, you can take some uh, soups and there are certain home remedies which you need to take and also try to take good care of your fluid intake try to take a lot of uh, juices and fresh juices are important than the uh, ones which are canned or they are coming in the uh, packets. You can also take a lot of vegetables and if you, you are tolerating then you can also take meat. So these are the home remedies which you need to do in order to uh, feel good. Some people do take green tea along with the honey, lemon, uh, ginger, clove and uh, turmeric. So these are mixed and these are taken two to three times a day. Lastly, if you are running a high grade fever, you are having a severe sore throat and you have got uh, 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 like you think your condition is not improving and then and you are not able to talk to a doctor, then you should start tablet azithromycin. You can take 250 milligram tablet two times a day for at least three to five days. And if you are not short of breath, you can manage yourself at home. Try to get a hand on pulse oximeter that will tell you how much saturation you have got uh, in your blood, how much oxygen is there in your blood. Try to take two or three things which are very important at your home. Try to have a pulse oximeter, try to have a thermometer so that you can keep on checking your uh, temperature regularly and also try to have uh, BP apparatus so that you can check your BP apparatus or you can check the B BP uh, or blood pressure of your rather BP apparatus, blood pressure of your loved one. So these are the general measures which you need to take while you are managing yourself or some loved one uh, at home. Try to isolate them for at least 14 days. Uh, I hope uh, it gives some basic idea of how to manage yourself at home and never ever take tablet hydroxychloroquine because this is not even now allowed in the hospitals. Try to take good care of yourself and your family and thank you for watching this video.